So we, Joan and I have been driving around the Mach-E for the past day and we're really enjoying and thoroughly enjoying the performance and all the cool stuff that goes with a silent vehicle. Um, but we have our own opinion, but we thought it'd be really cool if we got the opinion from people that actually own uh, a Mach-E. Do you find that there's enough uh, charging stations when you're doing the long, the long trips? Yeah, that's that's been, that was one of the things that we worried about a little bit, um, but for where we have gone, which is pretty far from Denver all the way to San Diego and Denver to Santa Fe, there it was more than adequate charging stations. Like um, I, I thought it was, you know, you, you had to go and stop at every charging station on the way. We were skipping so many charging stations. There's so many, especially once you get to uh, like I-15 in Utah. And, you know, and, I, and I'll be upfront with people, like there are areas like Wyoming and the Dakotas, there's just not enough charging stations. And it, it makes it very hard to own an EV that's not a Tesla up there. But here in Colorado, there's just, a, they're, they're everywhere. Um, we've, we've charged in some like small Colorado towns like Fair Play, Colorado, which is- uh, Population 800. Population wow. 800, yeah. <laughs> AKA, oh, AKA South Park, so yeah. <laughs> you ever watch South Park? So you're not expecting <laughs> any charging stations there? Take a photo inside Park. Wow. Yeah, right Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, what, what's your and number? Electrify America committed to double, right? Yeah, they're double like doubling charges. their network in the next like three years. Yeah. Yeah, they need to. I mean, EVs are, uh, they're catching on very, very fast. Truly. Yeah. Yeah. 